Leo, what's happening? Welcome back to my channel. This is Divine Balance. My name is Carmen, and I am going to be giving you your reading for the first half of April. Yes, we are in April. Can you believe it? This is a general reading for my lovely Leo. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate with you, then check the rest of your birth chart. Maybe the other reading may resonate better with you. Okay? Okay. All the information for personals, following, um, my uh, website for products, such as these bracelets, bath salt, and this shea butter, because I need some, okay? Uh, it's in the description box below as far as donating to my channel as well. Okay, right, so we're not going to waste a whole lot of time. Let's get into your reading. Remember, the roles can be reversed. Just because it has queen doesn't mean that it's not, it can't be a male and vice versa. All right, so. Spirits, wonderful spirits. What's coming in for the Leos the first half of April? Spirit was coming in for the Leo's first half of April. First half of April for the Leo. We have deserving. Some of you know what you deserve. Um, move this out the way. You know what you deserve. You know who you are. You're getting what you deserve, etc. Some of you are getting professional assistance. Maybe you're trying to start a business. Maybe you're trying to go back to school. Maybe you're doing tutoring, what, etc. So you're getting some type of professional professional assistance. And some of you. Uh, maybe getting in touch with your higher self. I commend you at the bottom of the deck. Somehow there's some deception that's going to happen for some of you in the month of April. So be careful. Maybe some gossip. I'm hearing lies. Of course, that's deception. Let's we'll see what may come out for you guys, though. Whatever other messages you have for my wonderful Leos. First half of April. Someone may be contacting you via phone. And you need to contact someone via phone. Oh, there's some endings happening for you guys. Maybe they will be contacting you via phone about an ending. Leo, first half of April, please. What else do we have for my wonderful Leos? Okay. Some of you will be seeing things clearly. Trust may be restored. Some of you may be feeling alone. And there may be a happy outcome in all of this. 
bottom of the deck. It's not personal. So whatever happened may not be a personal, it may not be a personal attack on you. Six can be uh, very significant to some of you guys. So look up angel number six. I say that because with trust, we got 24, which breaks down to a six. Feeling alone, we have 15, breaks down to a six. And even at the bottom of the deck, we have six. So that may be significant to some of you guys. So um, I really feel like some of you will may be reaching out to someone or someone may be reaching out to you via phone and um there may be things that need to be cleared up which is where that not personal came in so maybe um you'll have a conversation with somebody this month and you'll start to see things clearly as in whatever they did whatever actions they took it's not personal um and maybe they made you feel like you were alone. Maybe there's a possibility of that. Maybe they made you feel alone or you've been feeling alone since all this whole situation happened. But I feel like you're trusting the outcome, which is a happy outcome. And um, you'll get things cleared away. Cool. Cool. Okay. So. What am I using? What am I using? Okay. This one. Leo. Leo. First half of April. Spirit. Leo. Cards for Leo, please, for the first half of April. Leo, first half of April. Okay. Chariot, some of you guys are moving forward for something. Maybe you can travel them. Leo, first half of April. with a soulmate. There be a transformation in this situation. Okay. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so you got the chariot here. You got the two of cups. Let me move these over so you can see properly. You got the cherry here. You got two of cups. You guys have death. And you got the lovers, okay? So some of you may be moving forward pretty much in a relationship, making the choice that you guys are going to move on from whatever stagnation that you had previously. And um, after there's a transformation or change, if that has not happened already, but I feel like, I feel like both of you are wearing masks. And that's where that deception comes in. You guys are not being honest with each other. You're not being honest with yourselves. However, follow me here. You both want to move forward. You may want to move forward actually with this person. I'm going to find out both of you guys are wearing masks. You're not telling each other the truth, okay? There needs to be transformation or change, some type of death energy in this relationship. And once you do that, then maybe you two can actually be together. You see that they are not wearing masks anymore. Maybe there's a chance that you may not be together. I'm saying that because the hands are no longer holding. But I also really feel like once you guys reveal your truths, um, you guys will be able to work things out. Let us bring it, let us clarify. Shall we? We shall. Spirit, why is sharing the card here? So 
Someone may be traveling towards you as well. You may be traveling towards them. That's a cherry for a spirit. Why is the chariot card here, Spirit? Can you the chariot card? Why is the chariot card here? I want. Somebody's moving away from this player energy. And they're actually going to come in with some form of communication. This might have wands. I keep hearing I'm proud of you. That may be significant for some of you guys. Knight of Wands. Strength card. Having the strength to move away from. Yeah, see. Having the strength to get away from this player or having the strength to get away from this player. Energy. Eight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Yes, you're walking away from this opportunity that you missed. And yes, you're moving on. Let's continue. Strength card. What's the strength card about spirit? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups can be someone that wants to apologize. Knight of Cups can also be someone that um, pretty much didn't stick around. They, they would come in, give love, and then they would leave after they were done. But I feel like you guys are moving on from that. Seven of Pentacles, investing in, yeah, investing in this relationship. Yes, like it. I love it. Want more of it. Knight of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups? Yep. We got the Four of Swords, which is healing energy, and Page of Wands, which is some type of good news coming in. So, this person was kind of immature. I say that because there's no king or queen in this spread right here. They were immature with their communication. They were like wannabe players and shit, but they're, the chariot is saying that they're pretty much moving away from that, all right? Two of Cups. What's the Two of Cups about? Some of you may have a child with this person. Queen of Pentacles. Someone was nurturing in this relationship. And you guys are in some type of illusion. That's where those masks come in. Seven of Cups. You were in some type of illusion or confusion. Some of you may have had, may have been a choice to someone, which is a no-go. Okay, Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups? Right. Oh. That's too many cards. What's the Seven of Cups? Someone may also be making the choice, you know, um, to be with the Queen of Pentacles, who is stable and nurturing. This, yeah, finally using your intuition about it. Maybe there's some secret of knowledge that you guys don't know about. And I say that because, again, you guys are wearing masks right now. Maybe you secretly, maybe you secretively still want each other. And are not sharing that. Okay. King of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Maybe there's somebody that is not making any moves. Is sitting there. Maybe that's secret knowledge. Somebody is sitting there wanting. Longing for. For this. And they're not doing anything. This could be past energy. Because Six of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. What's the King of Wands in reverse, Spirit? What's the King of Wands in reverse? King of Wands in reverse. What's the King of Wands in reverse? What's the King of Wands in reverse, Spirit? Mm-hmm. Ten of Cups. They were being stagnant. 
and stubborn from their happiness. Because look at this. You got you got the you got this person and these two hoes back here watching this family situation, watching them be happy. And I feel like you at one point, male or female, okay, take it how it resonates. Don't pay attention to the sex of the car. But you were right there with them. With these two, you know, like in a third party situation. But your happiness is more important. And maybe this person, this King of Wands in reverse, is stopping, is pretty much um, watching you be happy. That could be for one of you, that could not, that might not be for all of you. So maybe the secrets and the, the secret of knowledge is that they had you in a third party. Maybe you figured that out and you moved on with somebody else. Again, take it how it resonates. That could be another situation. Okay, what's this death card? What's this death card about, Spirit? What's this death card about? Ace of Swords. Getting to the truth. Getting to, um, yeah. With the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Doing the right thing. Yeah, making changes for the truth. Taking back control, the emperor. Maybe the emperor is coming in with the truth. That could be it as well. Different people, different situations. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here, Spirit? Six of Pentacles. This person wants to equally give and take just as much. They want to be able to provide as well uh-huh but first look the devil three of cups they need to eliminate this toxic energy of having a third party situation being with other people that shit is not going to work okay not for the leos i refuse to be in a third party now also this can also mean that they want a new contract and they want to celebrate this contract with this new person that could also be it too the devil energy could also be a soul contract as well why is the lovers here spirit why is the lovers here lovers card why is the lovers here why is the lovers here spirit the lovers card here okay the lovers is clarified by the lovers page of cups someone made a choice to come in and communicate how much they love you let's see if anything else comes out for the lovers the lovers okay anything else for the lovers card double anything else for the lovers card Okay. You know, you stood your ground. You stood your ground. You know what you want. You know what you're accepting and not accepting. Okay. You were indecisive at one point, but yeah, yeah. They want to apologize and they want to have victory and success with you, but you don't see this long term situation coming to calmer grounds that they're going to communicate that they want to balance this out because they are heartbroken and they are in love with you and they are walking towards their soulmate absolutely beautiful now this is something else i want you to see okay so with the two of cups right they were both wearing masks they weren't being honest with one another Okay, maybe the honesty was that the fact that they wanted a child together, who knows? But they both were wearing masks at, at one point, right? You both were wearing masks. So the mask came off. Okay, do you see this lover's card? There's two different lover's cards here. So you got this lover's card where this woman is like, it's like Beauty and the Beast. So maybe this person came in with the truth. Came in with the truth about who they were and what they've done 
and their past, et cetera, et cetera. And they're showing that ugly side of them and you still love them. That can still go, it can go that way as well. So you're like, I don't care about the flaws. I don't care about what you did. It's in the past. I still love you. And they're still, and you're still embracing them, which makes them love you that much more. So, which is why the lovers is clarified by the lovers because you're accepting them for who they are, which is a beautiful thing, Leo. That is wonderful. This could make this maybe could be you too, but I'm saying. So that's a very sweet, very sweet thing happening. So they may call, and you may you know, um, start to see things clearly, clearly, you know, because it was, it was them. It wasn't you. And you're starting to trust them so that maybe there'll be an ending for some of you, but there's an ending to miscommunication, you know, feeling alone. Angels, what do you have to say to my Leos? Angels, what do you have to say to my Leos? <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. Look at that. It is safe for you to receive. You the more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. So this could be in a form of money. This could be in a form of love. But be open to receive the truth. Be open to trusting. Be open to what is being or about to be told to you from this person. All right. So that is the first half of April. Oh, wait a minute. Let me do this real quick. Do I got time? Yeah, I got time. This may not be love related. It could be, it only, excuse me, it's not romantic. This could be family, this could be friends, this could be co-worker. So why don't we see who it is, okay? Oops. Flip that up real quick. Spirit, who is Leo's reading pertaining to? Who is Leo's reading pertaining to? The deck is an ex girlfriend's mother. We have stepfather, a current enemy, that deception, an adopted mother, uh, your mother, mother. You don't know them, but they know you. Be careful. The person that you met out of town. I don't know y'all's situation. Okay, take it out, resonate. So, yes, that is your reading for the first half of April, Leos. If this resonates, do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for me. Um, again, if you want to book a personal reading, if you would like to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, if you would like to buy um, one of my products on my website, if you would like to donate to the channel, all of that information is in the description box below. So, in the meantime, in between time, my fellow Leos, have an amazing April and I will talk to you soon. Bye.